Hello there. If you are creating a new field in Salesforce and you want to make it mandatory or required, you have three options available to you. You can do that at the object level or in your page layouts or you can define certain business rules or validation rules. So the question is which option is the best and why you should choose one over the other. Well, my hope is that by the end of this tutorial, we should have an answer. So to quickly set up the context, first, you can make a field required by using a flag called required at the object level. And we are going to take a look at this quickly. You can achieve the same goal when you are defining or customizing your page layouts. And lastly, you can achieve the same goal by defining certain business rules and make a field mandatory. So what are some of the pros and cons of each of these options? So let's dig a bit deeper for which I'm going to flip my screen over to my Salesforce dev org and select an object. I'm going to select opportunity object where I have a bunch of custom fields and I'm going to select one called product usage. And as you might have guessed, I was referring to this tiny flag called required. It's rather straightforward to check this box on but it has a lot of implications on your design and product usage, rather application usage. So before you select this option, I urge that we look into these three or four questions. And first one being, if you will always need this field to be required for all record types, all page layouts and all of your profiles. In other words, do you want this field to stay required in all situations? And even when you are doing data imports, is this field a required field? And lastly, do you want this field to have a uniform level of read and write access to all of your profiles? and? If you are satisfied with these questions rather answers and you still want to select this option go right ahead so let's just do that for a moment <coughs> and as you suspect now this field product usage is required for all sales processes and by the way I have two one for product sales and the other one is for services. So regardless of who is logged in or which record type you are using, this field is required as apparent by this vertical red line in all situations. So if you try to create sales opp um, services opportunity, that field is required as well. <coughs> But is that what we really wanted? What if you want to selectively require this field to certain profiles or certain record types and to certain page layouts? And if that's what we need, I think it's worth looking at option number two, which in my opinion is a preferred method almost in every situation because it gives you the flexibility. You can make a field required in certain situations and yet you can maintain field level security. So if you go back <coughs> to set up and look at that field again, product usage, and since it's required in option one, we don't have a lot of f flexibility to make this field visible or make read only. But if you undo this, 
now you can choose to make this field visible to certain profiles or make read only to other profiles so that's I think the beauty of this option and another thing to note is that this field doesn't need to be present during data imports so let's look at some of the examples and create <coughs> Uh, these are some of the page layouts I have and this page layout applies to product sales opportunity and this one applies to services sales opportunity so let's say we want this product usage field being required for product sales and just going back looking at page layout assignments product sales has an associated layout called product sales layout so that's the one we are going to work on for system admin so let's select opportunity product sales layout and I already have these two fields that I think are applicable to product selling process and make product uses as required <coughs> now as you can guess if you try to create a new opportunity of type product sales product uses is required but if you try to create a new opportunity for other sales this field is not required in fact we could have gotten rid of this field or we could have hidden this field altogether so that's the best part I think of using second option you're able to marry the best of both worlds from here and from here and yet maintain field level security so what about option number three now think about certain situations where um, your business rules might change over time against this field or if you want custom error messages um, for your end users and if that's the case I think validation rules can be the um, second best option but remember though once you define a validation rule it does apply to all record types and layouts and profiles and they are run before data is imported so something to think about but having said that let's quickly take a look and try to create a validation rule on product usage and I'm going to call it product usage required rule and the intended field is product usage and I'm going to select a simple function called is blank and insert on top of this field and put and and check <coughs> the syntax oops one extra bracket so now this validation rule essentially is telling us that if product usage is blank send this message over at this location and you can choose to display this uh, error message next to the field and say product usage is required for product opportunities and with that 
if you try to create a new opportunity and I'm going to enter some fake data <coughs> and if you try to save it you should get that custom oh what happened well I think I have an idea let's go back to page layouts and I think we still have that field highlighted as a required field so this rule is taking precedence over the validation rule so now if you go back and try to create a new opportunity I hope we'll get that custom error message so let's try to save it yep now we get that message which is what we wanted so quickly to recap we have three options for making a field mandatory validation rules doing in page layouts or doing that at the object level object level is a bit stringent because it has long-term implications on your app design database design and how app is going to be used this in my opinion is the best way to go forward because it has the flexibility and you can control where to apply and when to publish certain fields and to which profiles uh, to apply these rules to and if you suspect your business rules changing over time I think you can look at this option as well so that's all I wanted to cover I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did please give me a thumbs up or send me your feedback at this email um, so I'm signing off for now thanks for watching Take care. Bye-bye.